Hi guys, my name is Neville Shah and I don't even know what I'm going to call this show. I'm going to call this show this. Okay, so I know everyone's been asking me to do cooking videos. What what you need to understand is that I am not a chef. I've just finished making a spaghetti aglio olio and that's what I'm going to try to show you uh, which is why I look like this. What you're going to need is you're going to need some bacon, you're going to need some you need a lot of garlic, pepper, salt, oregano. So you need spaghetti obviously. Uh, I'm just using store spaghetti. You need mushrooms, chili flakes and then whatever dry herbs you have, basil, oregano, thyme. I've just taken the spaghetti, boiled water, salt, olive oil and I've put the spaghetti inside that in boiling water. I think about eight, 10 to 12 minutes. They should not be mush. Uh, they should be slightly underdone, which is they should have a small bite to them. Another great trick is you take one spaghetti noodle and you toss it against the wall. If it sticks, it's done. If it doesn't stick, it's not done. Uh, but I don't want you to waste spaghetti. So just take a bite. When you take a bite and see if it's slightly underdone, uh, switch off the gas. You need to strain it through a strainer so the spaghetti gets caught, but uh, at the bottom of the strainer, just collect one cup of this spaghetti water. You're going to need it. What you need to do first is chop up the garlic. Look at how nicely I've chopped up the garlic along with my finger that I have chopped. See? See? Once you've chopped up all the garlic, you need to chop up the bacon as well and chop up the mushrooms. The mushrooms really need to be washed thoroughly. Hold them and make sure you drain all the water out really. Don't squeeze out the water, just drain the water. Just leave it aside. What you do is you take the bacon that you've chopped up, put it on a cold, into a cold bowl. Uh, I'm using a non-stick pot here. So just put it into a cold pot, uh, start stirring it. I am using tongs, don't use tongs. You can use tongs if they are plastic tongs. I am using steel on non-stick. Don't do that. That is the worst thing you can do. You just start with a cold pot and put the bacon in. You don't need oil because bacon has enough fat. I would put a couple of droplets of olive oil, uh, like literally tichki of olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. If you want, let the bacon sizzle out. Once the bacon reduces a little bit and it comes to a, you know, you'll feel it. There's enough fat in the, in the bowl. You toss in the mushrooms, stir in the mushrooms really well. Once that happens, you toss in the chili flakes, the dry herbs, the salt. Careful with the salt because the bacon might be really, really, really salty or very, very less salty. Uh, but it's going to be salty, so just be careful with the salt in this one. So stir it, 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 stir it. But once you see this nice brown bacon and brown mushroom and nice sizzling vibe that you get, toss in the spaghetti. Now that you put the spaghetti into the bacon and the mushroom and the chili flakes and the herbs and the salt all mixture, take that one cup of water that you've kept aside from the spaghetti thing and pour it into this. And this is where I like to put it in really. That's what she said. <laughs> Keep stirring, mix it all up really. Let that uh, water evaporate. Uh, once the water evaporates uh, and you've mixed up the spaghetti and the mushroom and the bacon and all really well, you're done. Ta-da! It's also a nice tip that you can make uh, crispy bacon like that. I got it from a friend of mine who basically corrected me because what I was doing is I was waiting for the pan to get really hot and uh, then I would put the bacon and it would sizzle really. Um, and it was a very simple trick to change, which was just you cold pan, cold bacon. 